So Super Rugby Round 19, final week of power rankings. Uh, I've gone through the calculations and uh, put the teams on the board. Uh, it's been an interesting one to do over the season. Um, learned a fair bit. I think if I do these power rankings next year, definitely be able to refine the way I do this. So hopefully some of the results will be a little less jarring because there's sometimes a few head scratches even to myself. Um, but yeah, it's been a bit of fun. So thank you guys who've come along for the ride. Uh, I'll get down to it. Final spot. Finally, the end of the day has to go to the Sun Wolves. Um, they spent much of the season here, managed to escape into 14th for about a week uh, in the last few weeks, but um, final couple of games didn't go their way, and it's down into 15th for them. Not an ideal season. Uh, hopefully. The people who run the Sun Wolves have taken some learnings and will be able to improve on things next year. But um, it is 15th for the Sun Wolves. Uh, likewise, hopefully take some learnings but not holding my breath. Uh, the Blues in 14th, final record of 4 wins, 12 losses. Beats only the Sun Wolves. The next best teams all had 6 wins, so... It was overall a pretty disappointing season for the men from Auckland, Northland, and North Harbour. 13th is the Reds. Uh, they're close. They, they kind of pulled themselves out, a bit of, out of a bit of a rut. Uh, they had a pretty poor second half of the season, but uh, the final couple of weeks they did pull off a couple of good victories, but uh, not quite enough to get them out of 13th. I did have them in 15th for a little bit, so uh, at least they pulled themselves out of that kind of... Uh, situation but um yeah i can't imagine the reds will be this low next year i get the feeling that they're going to be if not in the kind of top two rows hopefully uh somewhere towards the middle as they build uh, next likewise is true with the bulls they are down one spot they are very uh, very close to the stormers both on the table and on my power rankings um, not much between them at all just that last loss kind of dip them below where the Stormers are at. Um, but yeah, same with the Reds. I'm, I'm hopeful that what John Mitchell's doing there is is kind of building them forward. Um, obviously time will tell, but Curry Cup season, uh, some of them for Springboks and hopefully some development there. Speaking of the Stormers, they squeak into the bottom of the second to last row. Uh, they had a bye, so it didn't really make a difference, but the Bulls lost just bumps them up one so again still pretty disappointing season but um yeah at least they're not in the bottom row and they managed to avoid the wood avoid the wooden spoon in the south african conference uh next the brumbies who are the same um also had a pretty pretty impressive run towards the end of the season they, they were down my bottom row for quite a while but uh yeah signs of improvement there's a lot of teams that you look at and think yeah still positive perhaps the storm is not so much given this season although injuries and whatnot blues not really that positive but you know reds bulls brumbies all looking pretty positive towards the end of that season and same for the rebels for their season overall uh kind of disappointing that they weren't able to maintain the form that they started the season with they were right at the top for a while as they went on a real good start but um, not able to maintain it not able to uh beaten enough top teams but um yeah definitely better than last year so we'll see how they go uh with their their guys going forward interesting that uh after that rebels uh highlanders game there was a bit of an incident between amanaki mafi and lopedi tamani uh mafi's been charged with assault so apparently there was a bit of yeah fisticuffs going on between those two guys so we'll see what happens with that situation apparently he's been bailed uh, to a Melbourne and a, Jap a Japan address, but uh, not over yet. Uh, next, also the same, uh, the Sharks finish 8th on my power rankings and 8th on the table overall. Um, just a, a season that never really got any fluidity about it. It was stop-start and it was just enough. Uh, you still feel like the Sharks are a better squad than, than, than here and on the table, but... Um, See what they can show us during this game next week against the Crusaders. Next, and it's a big drop, it's three spots for the Jaguars. 
finished the season with 9-7-0, uh, and 0, which is a pretty decent record. Uh, they'll be disappointed that they lost those last two games in South Africa. They weren't able to win any games in South Africa, which is um, not that encouraging for them for next week. But in that last game, they, they rested a lot of their, their top players. So we'll see if that makes a difference. But um, overall, got to be pretty satisfied with the way the Jaguars season has gone compared to the previous two. Uh, next and up one uh, is the Lions. Another team whose first half of the season was probably better than their second half. Uh, and another team who weren't really able to go on a huge run of, of wins. Uh, I think it was four uh, in a row that they got, and then they were never able to really get that same consistency. So, um, yeah, they've, they've got second spot on the table. So they've, they've definitely got home advantage if they can if they can win their games right up until the final. Um, hey, if the Crusaders lose, they could even be hosting a final. But, uh, yeah, uh, we'll see how they go. It's, um, it's not the same season as it was last year, but, again, it's not the same coach and not all the same players. So... Uh, as far as expectations go, probably a little below what we expected, but um, yeah, hey, you can't really complain when you finish second on the table. Uh, next up one spot is the Highlanders. They, since the kind of June tests, didn't have their best run in. Uh, losses to the, the Chiefs and to the Crusaders kind of dampened things, and they were really pushed by the Rebels in that last game. Uh, their away trip to Sydney will be an interesting one because they um, they were the ones who lost that game uh, to the Waratahs earlier in the season, which kind of broke that that run of Aussie teams losing to New Zealand teams. So there's a bit to play for there. Uh, it's definitely going to be an interesting matchup. The Waratahs somehow, uh, due to other teams losing and uh, like the Jaguars and um, other teams not able to close the gap as enough, i.e. the Highlanders and the Lions. The Waratahs somehow managed to move up one spot despite losing themselves. So it's a bit of a... This is what I'm talking about when I say I need to refine these rankings for next time. But still, uh, the Waratahs are in fourth. Uh, like I said, that matchup between them and the Highlanders gets really interesting. Uh, Waratahs looked really brilliant sometimes this season and then looked pretty average at others. So... They're going to have to be sharp next week because uh, the odds of them playing a 14-man Highlanders team like last time uh, are pretty slim. Although, to be fair, in that game where they played them uh, earlier in the season, uh, the Waratahs looked good before the Highlanders had the man sent off. So we will see. Makes for an interesting matchup. Next, finishing the season in third, the Hurricanes were number one for ages when they went on that big winning run of 10 games. But... Uh, yeah, perhaps dipping at the wrong time seemed to be not quite as sharp as they were earlier in the season, um, but still a very strong team, and uh, whoever they play, if they can beat the Chiefs, is going to be interesting, but I have got the Chiefs up in second, because unlike some of these other teams, the Chiefs really seem to be peaking at the right time. Uh, that, that game against the Hurricanes next week looks to be the game of the round it should be a real cracker and uh I'm, I'm very looking forward to that one final one crusaders finished top of the log by a mile um their record of 14-2 and oh is nowhere near being matched they are going to be very difficult for anyone to beat um at home they haven't been beaten there in a couple of years yeah, it's going to be a big mission. But yeah, those are the final power rankings. Like I said, it's been a bit of fun to do these throughout the season. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed them. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the spots. It's kind of similar to what the final table looks like, but uh, still a few differences. Um, but yeah, you guys let me know your thoughts, and I'll talk to you again soon. All right, see you later.